It is I, Masterful27, and it is GoFest weekend. GoFest weekend is finally upon us. Oh my goodness, everybody I can imagine is buzzing like I am. It's Friday, this is the most up-to-date guide of everything Pokemon Go Fest. Goodness that we know what we have been told, what we've got to look forward to afterwards, and everything that's going to be going on as part of the day. I'm here at the favourite spot, and we're going to do some shiny checks as we talk through it. Slack off from Dortmund last year. Well, but it's GoFest, it's GoFest, it's GoFest, it's GoFest! You've always been asking me how to prepare for it. And I'm going to tell you very quickly in a very brief vlog how we are preparing for the best event on the Pokemon Go calendar ever. It's going to be very different though this year. One thing, we're going to be at home doing it, which is strange in itself. But yeah, we're going to talk all about how to prepare for it and what GoFest is going to entail. And let me know in the comments below what you're looking forward to the most, if you know already. But it's going to be fantastic. It all depends where you are in the world. If you can, if you have to stay in, the game is going to be designed very much so that you can play it at home really, really comfortably with loads of great features. And if it's safe to go outside, do so. If you can, where you are, do it very safely. Here in the UK, we can be outdoors. It's really, really good. Social distancing and everything in place, but we have got the option of doing it. The weather, though, looks a bit rubbish. Um, we're not quite sure what day is going to be better than the other one, but it's not looking great. But anyway, enough of that. That is the first fundamental thing. This is my tip. This is how I've prepared for GoFest. Take on board some of it. You might have already prepared in the best way you could already. But either way, I'm going to share with you now very briefly. So the first thing everyone's been going about is Pokemon and storage. Well, as you can see here, I haven't got the maximum limit. They've just increased it to 3,500, which is very good for those who are struggling with space. But I went really crazy. So I've got 2,350 as my maximum Pokemon storage. I've got it down to 1572 at the moment. Some very, very quick wins. And I know other people have talked about this, but if you put costume in there and search for costume and search it by number, number's very easy, it'll bring up all the ones. And as you can see there, I have been brutal on there. Scrolling up, I like my Pikachu's, one male, one female of each event. But as you can see, there's a lot less on there than there probably was before. Do I need loads of the same one? No, I've actually got three balloon Pikachu's. Do I need three? Probably not. But hey, you can see there, costumes is a quick way of having a lot of Pokemon storage taken up. I've been invited to a raid. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, but we're doing a vlog at the moment, so that unfortunately is going to have to wait. As Taylo comes in there, let's do a very quick Pidove. Sorry, Pidove. And it's like, I'm giddy with excitement on GoFest. So that's the first thing on Pokemon, on costume, really quick one there. So what else could you do on Pokemon uh, for storage space? Well, another thing you can look at, I always search by number. Look at the ones. Do you need loads of the same one? Um, and that will start at normal ones right now. Do you need so many normal ones? And as you can see here, Weedle Community Day, look at shinies and that. If they're not PvP meta relevant, and you might be into all that thing. Do you need more than one? Do you need loads? You can see here, I've got a few shines at the beginning, but I have deleted quite a few as well. For certain ones, I haven't even got them in there because they're not even that relevant, and they're common ones as well. Pikachu always becomes quite a quick one to take up space, but as you can see there, I've only got one of each. One male, one female, um, which is really cool. Some of these ones you can see here. I've only got a shiny Clefairy. Only one shiny one. Don't need loads of normal Clefairies. Uh, it, it goes without saying you can do a bit of work on it. And I've done loads of work on it. So let me know what you've done on that one. But that's the first thing. Get that Pokemon storage. Now they've let you increase it anyway. It, it's a way of saving a bit of coins by taking ownership of your storage and doing it like that. But anyway, you can see I've cut back on the Abra. I had 25 shiny Abras. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six now. It's things like that which can do it. Legendaries as well. Legendaries. Legendary! How I Met Your Mother reference there. Do you need more than three or four of each one? Don't really know. Uh, I've cut back quite a few. A few Mewtwo's in there, but I've cut back a lot of them. Uh, a few of the dogs, the beasts, I should say. Six of the Reggie Rocks, six Reggie Steels, six Reggie Ices. I've kept six of each. Just have a team of them there if you need them for raiding. But the ones that aren't really relevant, do you need to keep them? Kyogre, Groudon, really good ones. Meta relevant. Worth keeping those. Rayquaza, obviously, as well. I said obviously quite a lot in the last vlog, sorry about that. But yeah, you can see there's a bit of work being done on there. So do you need as many legendaries? 
you can see I've got a bit of order in there. And a swear word when it comes to deleting is shiny. Uh, <laughs> I've deleted quite a few shinies from community days. Shinies from community days are no longer rare. People will not delete shinies because I want to keep hold them. I get all that. The sentimental value, definitely keep hold them. I've got rid of loads. 573 still in there, but as you can see there, done a bit of work on it. I'll do a bit of work on the Weedle ones. You don't believe me, do you? you think, Does he really delete his community day shinies? Well, 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 for the purpose of this vlog, <laughs> for the purpose of this vlog, oh, that's quite a good one for PvP, actually. <laughs> Just me, I haven't checked that yet. I am rubbish when it comes to that. We are going to delete. We can delete that one. There you go. Delete. Delete, transfer, do I delete it? Yeah, shiny one, gone. I can delete shinies, I've just done one there for you all. So that's storage, that is the first thing. How do you prepare for GoFest with your item storage? That's a good one, we'll check metatype very quickly. And there, not shiny. Nice to get a shiny one here. What have I done on my bag space? Shuku! Getting invited to loads of raids, right? Now I'm to a vlog, you're on the screen. Rosa, I said we're gonna do a vlog together, I did say that. Oh, and breathe. I'm excited. I'm excited. So items. What do you do with item storage? A great question. Some of it's going to be around raiding, but predominantly you're going to have a remote raiding full of lobbies, which means you're going to let, need less items to keep reviving and keep potioning up. Something like that. So I have cut back on all my potions. I've kept some max potions. I don't need that many. I'm only going to keep 100 of them. Some people might say that's still quite a lot, but I had loads more than that. Uh, don't need potion. Delete that one. I have 1850 in my bag space. Uh, revives. I'm going to get rid of the 21 revives. So I'm just going to keep my max revives. Got quite a lot there, but I'm still going to keep them because I've built those up quite nicely. Um, when it comes to berries, charged TMs, fast TMs, I had over 100 of each of those. I've reduced those down to about 50. I'll take a charge, move out there, back down to 50. Uh, don't delete the elite ones, obviously. Now, rare candy is a great one. Don't delete them. Don't delete them. Plow them into a legendary, which you want. If you've got a decent one, I've got a 96% uh, Kiram. It's there, 2031. So what I'd be doing is you need roughly about, I think it's about 280, 290 to power one, max it up. I've got a 96% one here. There it is. Uh, with rare candies. Why not plow them in there? You're going to need another 100 to put the special move on. So, it's just taking up your bag space. Why would you have it sat there? So, we're going to throw a few more in there. I like to keep 20 or so just in there. It's in there. It's going to be used. Kim's going to be white and black are going to come out as well. Sensible one. Do something meta relevant if you haven't got Kim that's really good. Something that's really high. Put them in there. Premium battle passes. They're there. Uh, star pieces. Might need those for the star just boost. We don't know yet. Gifts. Keep sending them. Get your gifts in. Open them up. We're right at the end now. You're saying, why are you telling me that now? You already know that. But that's the way to get hold of Pokeballs. The biggest thing you're going to need for GoFest is Pokeballs. As you can see, I've done a lot of work on this one. You're going to need at least 60 to 70 Ultras and Great Balls in your back pocket. Those Shinies. The ones you just want to make sure you get them really quickly. But 981 Pokeballs get that really, really high. And I tell you why. I tell you why. Incense. Incense will play a big part in this if you're playing at home. Incense is critical. They normally spawn once every minute. When they boost them, it's once every 30 seconds. 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. 10 p. 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. I'll get it the right way around. 10 hours a day. 10 hours. Two, um, 10 hours. Two spawns a minute. 120 spawns a minute. Times 10. 1,200 spawns a day. 2,400 spawns just on incense, potentially, over the two days. You're not going to have that space in your bag. You're not going to have all those Pokeballs. You will get Pokeballs during the events as well, but stock up Pokeballs are your best friend for GoFest. Remember that, that's a lot. You will miss spawns I'm trying to catch ones. Mark my word. But do not waste your energy on Pokemon that don't have any meta relevance, any PvP relevance, and that aren't shiny. They will waste your time, you'll lose other spawns. Remember that. You know that, people. What will happen with poker stops? Will they add additional ones to the game where you are? Can you pick one up, drag it to where you are so you always get poker stops? You can spit it. Will learn modules be put on all poker stops around the world? Nobody knows. We'll find out soon in Australia when they get their go fest soon. In less than 10 hours when I'm vlog recording this. Berries, a great one. What do you need for berries? Well, you don't need nana berries. You don't need them. Get rid of them all. I've got rid of all mine. You can see there. Pineapps are great if you want to get those less common spawns that aren't that strong. Pine at them. That makes sense. Get extra candies. 
But Golden Raspers and Raspers, your best friends. Keep your silver pineapples. You've got those. You only get those on rewards anyway in certain features. And then you go to incubators. All the eggs are going to be special ones. Last go fest in Dortmund, there were special feature 2K ones. I'm not a big egg walker and egg. I like eggs. I don't like them really that much. But I've got my last batch of nine on now. Get those incubators on, clear them out and wait and do what you need to do. Gifts is a great one, but we're going to look at special items first. Evolution items, delete them all. Keep a couple of each. I had 10, 12, 14, 16. Fun, you had 100 spaces on evolution items. Do you need that many? Do I need that many Sinnoh stones? No, I do not. There's 11 gone, 10 there. I'm not going to delete Unifer just yet. They're current. They might be beneficial. But you get the scale of what I'm talking about. And I'm already up down to 1765 again. I've deleted some. I did loads of this beforehand, by the way, to get my balls up. My balls up? That sounded awful. Uh, but anyway, you get the point. You get the point. Oh, so what else do you need to know? Well, it's going to be played in whatever the weather's like you are. Summer in some places, believe it or not. Stay hydrated. Get your battery packs charged up. Get your phones charged up. Juice is your best friend for GoFest. If you're going to be like me in the car on Saturday playing it locally, I will have a charge pack. I'll also have the car to keep it charged. The weather could be awful. It's not looking great where we are, but definitely take advantage of keeping yourself topped up. You need all that. If you're out and about on foot, have a rain mat, have a light bag, have a cap, have a brolly. All light things because when the weather changes, you don't want to avoid being able to play it. Keep your screen dry when it rains. An umbrella is your best friend. Your phone might be waterproof, but if you want to do little flips and all that, it'll go a bit like that when the screen's wet, as you just saw then. Bad recreation, a waste of a Pokeball, my ad. It's not going to be pretty, and it's going to be very frustrating. But hey, you know all that if you've done GoFest before. If you haven't, just take that on board. Loads of little quick fire tips in there. So what do we know as I click on the same Teddy Ursa? I really want the green Teddy Ursa. What do we know then? What have we been told? What is going on in GoFest? So there was an announcement, tips of the best GoFest experience, plus the ultra unlock details. So if you still need a ticket, get a ticket. If you're not level 10, get to level 10. You've got print at home kits, which you can do. Dress your avatar up as a free Pokemon Go Fest t-shirt 2020. I love it. Didn't get the real one, but love the thing in the avatar shop. We now know there's going to be loads of events during Pokemon Go Fest. You have to work towards these. You'll be able to track them in the Today View and it will show you how we're doing. But up until this, through the weeks leading up to Go Fest, we've all unlocked certain Pokemon. Which ones will be shiny? No one really knows right yet. However, whatever we do during Go Fest will unlock the Ultra Unlocks. These will be for weeks after the event. Ultra Unlock Week 1, Dragon, 2 Enigma and Unova in number 3. These are all amazing. There's been some amazing announcements now of new shiners coming to the game. And we're going to fire for these in rapid quick fire. Because actually this is all about GoFest right now. But this is what doing GoFest and what we can work towards will actually give us for the weeks after GoFest. So, oh god it's exciting, I'm really exciting. So, Ultra Unlock details in Week 1, Dragon. If we do everything that we need, oh dear goodness, Gibble, Hello and Executor will all come out in the wild. Time for them to shine as well. You get Hello and Executor, Horsey, Dratina, Trapinch, Swablu, Bagon. Bagon. If you're lucky, you might find a Gibble. Sem Clumtegs will change. Horsey, Dratina, Trapinch, Swablu, Bagon. Gibble and Dino will also be hatching. Oh, exciting. Requires will be in the five star raids. However, the big shiny release is Shiny Dino will be released for week one. That's phenomenal in itself. Enigma's week two, and we're not going to go through the details, but normal form Deoxys will be released in its shiny form. And Shiny Stario, Stario will also be released in the wild. That's phenomenal. Week three, the new, 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 new is Shiny Rock and Roller. That's phenomenal. It's a nice purple on it. I'm saving my Rock and Roller. I could do the evolution, but I'm going to save it now to see if I get a shiny one. Oh, that's all headline. That's all headline stuff. So I'm just sharing that with you now. There are the headlines. That's what we can do if we do the rewards. That's, it's crazy, isn't it? It is absolutely crazy. So we're going to check a couple more shinies in here. Oh, no. I'm crazy excited. I'm very, very excited for this. Hope you lot are as well. We're going to just, just check these ones on seal. And that is going to be about it. So I've covered a hell of a lot in there about getting prepared. I've told you what I'm doing. Uh, Sunday, I'm hopefully going to be meeting up with the gang, actually. Uh, we're all going to be getting together on the Sunday. Sunday has a bit more of a team go battle element. 
What else do we know then? So Pokemon Go Fest is focused around uh, five different themes. So when you go to Go Fest normally, you get biomes and you spend your time in those and you try and catch the ones you really want in there. We haven't got luxury of doing that for this one. So they're going to be flipping the biomes into different segments is probably the best way of describing it. So they will start from 10 a.m. Uh, and they will flip all the way through to 8 a.m. So that's pretty cool. The unlock had all the unlock details on it. We've gone through all that. But we're going to be going through this if I can find it in a minute. Here we go. <laughs> all the different habitats. Absolutely crazy. I'm just tired of thinking about it, gang. Absolutely tired of thinking about it. So, yeah, uh, friendship, battle, uh, I think it's grass, fire, and water are the, are the biomes. They flip every hour, starting at 10 a.m. and then to 11 to 12. Gifts have been increased for the friendship bit. Originally said, open your gifts on day one when that biome is around in the game. Well, originally you can only open 20, now you can open 200. That is phenomenal. That makes a massive difference. I mean, you've got to admit, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Might be special items involved in the gifts, could be incenses, could be rare candy, could be loads of little things like that. But they're gonna alternate every hour on day one. That's what we know so far. Day two is a big secret at the moment. No one really knows what's going on there, but we will find out very soon. So that is a crash course in everything that we know about Go Fest. Oh, Go Fest is gonna be amazing. This is my avatar rocking the Go Fest 2020 t-shirt. Absolutely love it. Look at that. Brilliant. Love the detail on it. There's Mewtwo looking all good and green. But yeah, that is the uh, Pokemon Go Fest 2020 avatar. I'm rocking that out in the shops right now. Well, that is it. That's all I'm going to talk about Go Fest. Enjoy it. Have fun. Do what you want to do. Make the most out of it. Experience. Share what you do on Twitter. I'll be updating it throughout the day on my Twitter account. Fill a bit of content and all that's just. But yes, smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. Ping a bell for notifications. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'm Asphalt27. I'm going to be hitting Go Fest really hard now these next two days. I'll see you all very soon. Keep hydrated, be safe, and just have a great time. See you soon, gang.